Welcome to the future. Here, we don't work traditional jobs or use money as you know it. We spend all day battling with our Axie friends and earning cryptocurrency. The most secure, decentralized... What do you mean there was a hack? The token has dropped 95%? We're all doomed! Society is collapsing! Hello YouTube and welcome back to Pots the TV. We've talked about quite a few crypto NFT games on this channel, but today we're going to be talking about arguably the biggest one ever. We're going to be talking about Axie Infinity and specifically their new project Axie Pals. Now I know Axie Infinity is huge and there's still a lot of people that really enjoy it. So this video might be a little controversial, but either way, let's jump into it. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, it really helps. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what Axie Infinity is, but for those of you who don't, I'll give you a brief history. Axie Infinity is an NFT game developed by the company Sky Mavis, and it is one of, if not the longest running NFT game ever. The game uses these little ugly creatures that are supposed to be axolotls, but they look more like potatoes to me. These little potatoes are the NFTs, and you need a team of three of them in order to play the game. When this game released in 2017, and for the next couple of years after release, these little guys were very, very expensive. The rarest ones costing hundreds of thousands of dollars each. With the barrier of entry to the game being owning three of these things, it was very very expensive just to start playing. This price made an extremely high barrier of entry, but since this was a play to earn game, and just by playing the game with these little creatures, you could earn cryptocurrency, a lot of people thought that it was worth it. And for some, it definitely was. Just playing this cutesy little axolotl RPG could earn you a ton of money. Who wouldn't want that? But for those people that couldn't afford the entry costs, there was a program called the Scholarship Program. In this case, someone with three axolotls or more could lend three of them to a new player so that new player wouldn't have to buy their own. In return, a large chunk of the money that the new player earned playing this game had to go to the lender. This led already very wealthy individuals who could buy a lot of these axolotls to lend teams of three to people in impoverished nations. Those people that resided in third world countries would then play this game as if it was a job. But the scholarship program was extremely predatory. Some lenders asking for up to 90% of the earnings from all people they lended their axolotls to. Not only that, but there were some conditions where the people being lent the axolotls had to play the game seven days a week for 10 hours a day in order to uphold the contract. This seems a lot less like a video game and more like extremely underpaid labor. But it didn't last for long. With the crypto bubble bursting in 2021 and with inflation really affecting this game, the price of their tokens plummeted. When everyone could return to work in 2021 after COVID and didn't have to play this game as a replacement for a job, the token plummeted even more and it became nearly worthless. But during its height, this this game was incredibly popular and it had millions of concurrent players and it still has hundreds of thousands even today. But will Axie Infinity and games like this eventually replace traditional jobs? I'm highly skeptical. Because of all the projects we've seen like this fail with the promise of exactly that, of replacing traditional jobs, I just can't see it working, at least not anytime soon. I remember when Axie Infinity first released and I even had friends in my close friend group that were telling me like, guy, you, you have to play this. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the future. We're gonna earn a ton of money and all you have to do is grind in this game. I know you like grinding in RPGs anyway, so you might as well earn some money while you're doing it. And I have to admit, I was even a little tempted to try it out myself back in the day. But seeing how it turned out, I am very glad that I didn't jump into this. You would think though, after so much controversy behind this game and their token plummeting in cost, that they would fade away into the sunset like most crypto NFT games. But that is not the case. About two weeks before recording this video, they announced their new project called Axie Pals. Now, the only reason I even heard about this is because some of the YouTube channels that were shilling Axie Infinity back in the day are now shilling Axie Pals. And I had to see what this was all about. So Axie Pals seems to be a web browser add-on where you can upload your NFT Axies into it and it basically makes it so you can play Tamagotchi with your Axies on your desktop. It does seem very invasive because it just overlays itself onto your browser, and it reminds me of a certain monkey friend. But with Axie Pals, you can feed your axolotls, you can play with them, and as you do, your love meter goes up that you can see at the top there. The more love you have with your Axies, the more tokens you will earn. This is of course just another way to try and entice new players to play this game, and in return get the price of the token to go back up to where it used to be. In this article on the Sky Mavis website, the developer of Axie Infinity, it says that they wanted to create a way for Axie collectors to engage with their favorite Axies daily without the need for intense playtime. Axie Pals lets you interact with your Axies in new and dynamic ways, 
earn AXP passively, and compete on weekly leaderboards for AXS rewards, all while going about your usual desktop activities. Now this is an interesting move for Sky Mavis to make. Basically they're trying to get new players into this game without having to play the game. Instead of playing the game, you can just own the NFTs and then play around with them like a Tamagotchi. And in that way, you'll still earn crypto tokens. No need to play that boring RPG. Now you can just click around on your desktop. One of the most strange things to me is that Axie Pals specifically already has a sponsor. And that sponsor comes in the form of the Teletubbies. I don't think anything could make me want to play this game less than a Teletubby running around on my desktop. With the ways to earn AXP in Axie Pals being very idle, it seems like this is just going to be another get rich quick scheme for a couple of people. If you get in really fast and cash out really fast in Axie Pals, you'll probably make a few bucks. But if the goal of this is to get a huge influx of new players and they successfully do that, it's just going to suffer from the effects of inflation again. And of course, in true Pyramid Scheme faction, there is a bonus referral contest. Whenever a new user is onboarded to Axie Pals, they'll be asked to input a code. Share your code with them and every successful referral will grant you one Coco. The top 10 referrers between now and October 15th receive 20 AXS each. So get as many of your friends to play and you will receive more cryptocurrency. We've all seen the full life cycle of these crypto NFT games and it's very dangerous to fall into that trap. They'll say you can earn money without having to work and that all you have to do is play this game, but eventually the price of the tokens will collapse for one reason or another. Whether it's because it gets too popular and inflation hits it, or because it just never takes off in the first place. It always ends with a lot of people losing a lot of money and the only people cash out being the first ones to play the game or the developers. Now because Axie Pals does heavily remind me of a certain program that basically hacks your computer, I will not be downloading it on my computer, but I did want to look into the Discord to see what other people were saying. And one of the very first things I noticed was this. Do you remember that scholarship program I was telling you all about that ended up being a giant scam? People are still hiring for it today. There are multiple people with open scholarship. This person even saying they're in a giant guild and they're quote unquote hiring a lot of people. They list all of these perks and then say the more people that join, the higher the AXS shares will go. There's even people saying that they'll do a lot of giveaways for all the people in the scholarship program to get hundreds of dollars. The fact that this is still going on today after it got outed as a scam and a pyramid scheme is crazy to me. There seem to be people even now, but especially back in 2019 and 2020, that thought this kind of thing was going to be the future of jobs. We wouldn't be working in office buildings or in warehouses anymore, no, instead we'd be playing these games with these ugly little axolotls to try and earn as much cryptocurrency as possible. The promise of this led to a lot of devastating stories of people losing a lot of money in the cryptocurrency crash of 2021. Not only that, but people lost a lot of money on Axie Infinity specifically because of a giant hack that happened. Back in 2021, a group of North Korean hackers hacked into the crypto wallets of a lot of Axie Infinity players and stole hundreds of thousands of dollars worth worth of tokens. And that's not the first big crypto hack that's ever happened. Earning cryptocurrency in play to earn games can be very, very tempting, but it's incredibly dangerous. And it is not, at least not today, going to replace traditional jobs. But who knows, maybe 10 years down the line, I will regret not having a team of axes of my own. But I just wanted to update you guys on the saga of Axie Infinity. It just, it's crazy to me that it's still going and they're still releasing new projects trying to draw in more players after we all know how terrible the original game went. If you have any suggestions for things you want me to talk about, please let me know down in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.